Welcome to St. Louis at Worldwide Technology Raceway for the Nostal 300. This track was formerly named Gateway back in 1988 till about 2018. Here's the latest news for the 2024 Fictional Piston Cup Series. First up, Cruz Ramirez is back after being injured two weeks ago during the All-Star Race. Bobby Swift is suspended after wrecking Cruz Ramirez, so he's not racing today. And in the points standings, Lightning McQueen is the new points leader. Also, Colin Bargain is the Rookie of the Year leader. With that out of the way, let's take a look at our starting grid. In row one, Bo Wheelhouse, the fastest car for two weeks in a row. And J.D. McPillar. In row two, Lightning McQueen, one of the best cars to look out for today. And Ryan Laney. In row three, Daniel Suarez and Master Dragon 4000, who has lost the lead for Rookie of the Year against his teammate. In row four, Cruz Ramirez and Cal Weathers. In row five, face Jay Hollis and Chase Race a lot. In row six, Brandon Power Car and Colin Bargain in that nice high hop Mustang. In row seven, Jackson Storm and last week's Crown Jewel winner, Brian Spark. And starting in row eight is no other than Phil Tankson. Here's the race format, 12 laps, 15 miles around the 1.25 mile track and pit road speed is 40 miles per hour. Pace car is off to the pits. Here we go for the second race of the summer. Last week it was the N2 Ocola 600 starting at Charlotte Motor Speedway, but today we are racing at Worldwide Technology Raceway. The green flag is in the air and the no stall 300 is underway. Bow Wheelhouse already the great start. That's the advantage on getting the pole. You obviously start in the front. Oh, JD McCullers in the wall along with Master Dragon 4000 and Colin Bargain. All three SHR cars are in the wall. Lightning McQueen charging up to, to the front. Oh, 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 Master Dragon 4000 hit the wall and Chase Race a lot. Rex with the 41. They both bring out the first caution of the day. Chase Race Lot, Master Dragon 4000. Wrecked in turn three. Luckily, the wall that they hit was a safety barrier or safer barrier. Here's a look, look what just happened. Master Dragon 4000 was a bit upset with um, Chase Race Slot, or instead it was Chase Race Slot slamming the 41 of Master Dragon 4000. We're about to take an onboard with 24. That was a nasty hit. Anyways, we're heading the break since Chase Race a Lot brings out the first caution of the day. We'll be right back. Welcome back to the No Stall 300 from Worldwide Technology Raceway. We're ready to go back green since the track is all clear and we're about to restart double file like always. Mm, this track is pretty slick because of the summer weather has already hit. It's already the end of May. So this race is going to be the last video of uh, May. Well, anyway, back to the race. This track um, is pretty dangerous. Because of last year, Noah Gregson hit one. One of the safety barriers in the NASCAR Cup Series in turn one or turn two, and then he, he was out for a, few, for, um, a week or two. So hopefully nobody hits a concrete wall or or the safety barrier really hard. If somebody hits that concrete wall, that'll be a fatal hit, really really fatal one. We're about to restart double foul. Bubble Wheelhouse will be restarting in the inside. Light McQueen to the outside. Daniel Swervis to the inside and Laney to the outside. So Wheelhouse first, second place McQueen, third Swervis, and fourth Ryan Laney. Pen entrance is not the same like what the pace car did. Here he goes, off to the pits. Master Dragon 4000 and Chase Race Lies are starting in the back. 
Here we go. To the restart zone. The green flag is back in the air here at St. Louis. Lightning McQueen already in the lead. Bruce Ramirez also trying to charge up because she wants a piece of that action since she hasn't raced for like two weeks. Oh, Colin Martin almost spun out. If he didn't keep that car in control, that would have been a disaster. Here comes Colin Bargain drafting with the number 20 in Bill Tixon, trying to pass him. Oh, H.J. Hollis is in the wall. Okay, so we're not having the halfway jam because we're staying on high alert with the cars. At least I'm just going to stay silent for now. Alright, Lightning Queen is still in the lead with six laps to go. Swerves and Bo Wheelhouse are racing a bit too hard. I'm not sure if Chase Race Lie and he Chase Race Lie um, gets involved in another incident. With the second caution of the day, we're gonna have an overtime restart since if there's five laps to go in the race, we're going overtime. I just call it I I was about to say, hopefully Chase Racelot doesn't get into another incident, but I jinxed myself. That rear is junk. Alright, in turn 4, he spun out. I feel like Bubba Wheelhouse or H.J. Hollis made contact with him. And Racelot starts spinning in the back straight away. Here's Nonbor with H.J. Hollis. Starting now. Well, that damage is going to slow down H.J. Polis. We're going to break since Chase Race a lot brings out the second caution of the day. We'll be right back. Welcome back to the No Stall 300. We're going back green next time by. This time we're going to do. Two laps of overtime and somebody has blown up an engine. Okay, so overtime works by um, if the leader takes the white flag, the next flag will end the race. And if they start wrecking with two laps to go, they're about to restart again. We're having unlimited attempts. And Brandon Power Car has lost his engine a few laps before the race is over. I bet they're not going to throw out the caution. They're going to tell Brandon Powercar to immediately go to the pits. Alright, we're restarting double foul like always. Swerves will be restarting from the outside, McQueen to the inside. Calwares is restarting fourth and third goal wheelhouse. Brandon Powercar is heading to the pits, so he is out of the race. Another chance on him winning. Soiled. Oh, Calwares also blows up an engine. I bet they're going to have to throw out the caution. But nope, they're going to about to restart. First attempt of overtime. Oh, Colin Bargain is going to slow down just because of Cal Weathers. Along with Brian Spark, last week's winner. Swerves takes the lead. Nope, it's Lightning McQueen. Swerves is Lightning McQueen. Oh, Ryan Lane is in the wall. The six of Bo Wheelhouse starts spinning and they bring up the third caution of the day. We're going to have to restart again. Colin Bargain was trying to get out, but he was right in front of them. Cal Wetter's still trying to make it to the pits. Chase Race Lot with a bunch of damage in the front. I bet he's out of this race. So the 6 slams the 21 into the wall, and then they started wrecking. Chase Race Lot had nowhere else to go. Bruce Ramirez and Colin Bargain, they're not having great luck. Have a difficult time trying to dodge the wreck. Colin 
Bargain just hit the back of the 68. We'll be right back for the third time today. Welcome back to Worldwide Technology Raceway for the No Stall 300. We're about to have a, the second overtime restart because the 21 and the 6 bring out the third caution of the day. This day has been wild already. The lights are off the pace car. We're about to restart double foul. So Storm will restart to the outside and McQueen to the inside. There's a chance that Jackson Storm could get his first win of the year. Well, it's unlikely because Lightning McQueen is a god of these short tracks. What I mean by a god, he is pretty good in this track. Um, uh, Chase Racelaw has been out of the race. That's the reason why you don't see him. Brandon Power Car and Cal Weathers are also out of the race, so once the scoring board shows up, it will show who is out of this race. Alright, they're about to split up in the two, two columns. There we go, Storm to the outside and McQueen to the inside. Third place, Suarez. Fourth, Bill Tankson. And fifth, JD McPillar. Alright, so we have Chase Race a lot. Cal Weathers and Brandon Power Car are out of this race. Pace Car is in. Hopefully, this is the last time the Pace Car comes back out of the, to the track. Because today has been a chaotic day. Let's see if we be more chaotic with overtime restart number two. Jackson Storm already with a great start. I bet the outside is better than the inside. Storm is still in the lead. Swervez also hungry for a win. He tried winning at Darlington, but he failed against the six up of a wheelhouse. Here comes Light McQueen battling out his old opponent. Swervez and McQueen side by side through turn three. And H.J. Hollis is heading to the pits, and I bet he's going to have to be penalized for that. Better maintain that 40 mile per hour speed limit. White flag is out. Next flag will end the race. So if there's a wreck, the race is over. Storm still in the lead. McQueen charging up to beat his old opponent. They're drafting the back straight away. Swervis, McQueen, and Storm. Here they come, entering turn three. Swervis to the outside. That's not going to work, and... He's going to brush the wall. Nope. McQueen is in the lead. Here we go. Checker flag battle for for the win. Jackson Storm versus Lightning McQueen. And it's going to be Lightning McQueen. Lightning McQueen by inches. Congratulations to Lightning McQueen for winning the 2024 No Stall 300. Like what Mike Joy and Daryl Waltrip said in the old NASCAR on Fox broadcast. Have you ever? No, I had never. That was one of the best finishes of 2024. Well, um, uh, it will still not beat the 2024 InsureCare 500 finish or the IGN TR 400 finish at Atlanta.
Here are the official results. Lightning McQueen is the fastest car of the day. Next Wednesday, we're racing left and right at Sonoma Raceway for the Dynaco Light 350 starting June 5th at 3.30 p.m. Pacific and 6.30 p.m. Eastern. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. This is the Candy Cat Hearn 27 signing out.